Hey everyone, this is your CNC HD and we are back to the tournament Team Battle Titans hosted by the Russian community and here we are looking again on the map Fallen Empire because this is the first map which has to be chosen in this tournament in the map pool. So let's start with the team introduction. On the top left corner we have in the purple color the infantry general by one of the tournament hosts Rob and he is allied with the green colored nuclear general and his teammate is a Muslim or Mus Muslimon Muslimon uh, let's call him Musli Muslimon Muslimon I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that name. And this team is fighting against, on the bottom right corner, in the orange color, the nuke general of a Spekovic. Or Spekovic? Spekovic? I think Spekovic sounds better. And Spekovic is um, allied with the infantry general on the bottom left corner, NCRMD. Let's go with N N C R. Okay, so NCR and Spekovic are against Rob and Musliman. Musliman. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so infantry and nuke. And also infantry and nuke. So very even here with the matchup of the teams. Musliman already beaconing the unsafe supply, so I believe he's going for it. Nuke General for the unsafe supply and his teammate Rob for the safe supply. And on the bottom side we see also a Nuke General going for the unsafe supply and the Infantry General for the safe supply. Oh well, no, no, I, I have to correct this. Two dozers are driving to the middle, so they are not sure uh, who is going to take the unsafe supply and the safe supply. Now Spekovic is driving down to the bottom, so they lost a bit of the time there. No communication at all, but um, maybe it will be okay. But they lost at least one minute of mining there. So the war factory is up here at the end at the unsafe supply of Musliman and he is placing down a supply center to gather the money. I would have placed it somewhere here to have the supply trucks uh, near to the supplies to gather faster but should be okay there. A flame tank already on the way and the infantry general knows about it and if he is clever he is selling the barracks and he is not going to sell the barracks. This is lost cash for him. There is another flame tank and a few troops are spamming in. The safe supply is stationated here by NCR is placed there and the war factory is going up. But there is a lot of there are a lot of units here streaming in at the bottom left corner at NCR space. The dozer is retreating. He is escaping the base. He's fleeing from the uh, from the dragon tank. The unsafe supply of NCR is taken down. This is lost income for NCR and for the bottom team. There is a flame tank coming in from the left. This flame tank here is ca can do nothing against this flame tank, but there are two tank hunters behind this one, and they should not take care of this dragon tank. The dragon tank is just... Oh, but they placed a TNT on the dragon tank. Very nice move, so this dragon is going to fall. Now, a uh, listening outpost full of units is clearing out the base of NCR. A war factory is, is destroyed, and the reactor is gone. We also see on the right side a new Battlemaster cleaning up the main supply of Spekovic. So now we have a nuclear Battlemaster fight there and we also have a nuclear Battlemaster fight there at the unsafe supply. Nicely done here detonating there but not destroying the supply trucks completely. Ah, uh, NCR has lost his base completely but he has kept his dozers and 
not driving to his teammate to establish an airfield, but there's a nuke battlemaster and he's destroying the dozer, so only one dozer for NCR left and there are two more battlemasters streaming in there on the bottom side, this looks very very bad for the bottom team, I don't see how they come back from this. Um, this was misplaced there by the battlemasters, better split them up. When the battle master detonates there, eh? But uh, whatever. Ah, losing this one battle master there. Also here, nice supply harassment there at Spakovich's second supply. This looks uh, this looks pretty much like a lost game there for the bottom team already after four minutes. They are now also coming in to to mix with black napalm upgrade. Bottom team is finished. There are a lot more units streaming in. Uh, he is now losing all the units, but damage is being dealt. The war factory is gone. There is absolutely nothing there to produce something uh, except for this war factory. The main supply here for NCR is lost. There's no way to come back out of this match. They should just they should just surrender and go on to the next game. The reactor is going to fall, supply is going to fall, there's one battle master trying to save his base but he already knows this game is over. They're gone, supply gone. I don't get it why they just don't surrender. And there's the surrender and we go on to the next game. You have been defeated. Okay, let's take a look at the statistics. Rob and Musliman go for the win. They go with 1-0 at this match. This is a best of five, so they only need two more wins to win the first round. And then they are in the quarterfinals against another team. And let's go to the next game. So now here at the second game, we are looking at the map Tournament Lake. And let's take a look at the players here at the bottom left side, a GLA Vanilla for Spekovic. On the right side, his ally with a Demolition in the yellow color. So Demolition and GLA Vanilla fighting against on the top left corner. A Demolition General and a Toxin General. So let's start with the game. I'm... I would say... Demo and Toxin are favored here. To I would say Toxin is more powerful than a GLA Vanilla in my personal opinion. And so I favored the top team. And let's see. So Tournament Lake here. Very, very, uh, very, very good map there. You don't see this map often being played online. They all play Fallen Empire or Tournament Island, but Tournament Lake you don't see this often. We have those workers now streaming into those middle oil derricks and also here to the middle supply. We have a lot of supplies there in the middle, also an oil derrick on each side. And we also have two oil derricks on each side there at the bottom of this hill. Here two tunnels in front of the oil derricks, but Spekovic is nearer to those two oil derricks. And he can save them if he does this correctly. Now here Rob is going for the supply there in the middle as well as his teammate. And it looks like they are defending this very well. There's a tunnel going up here for NCR. And there's the tunnel going up for Masliman. And the tunnel is finishing. So this is a Doxin tunnel. So... NCR needs to be careful not running into this Toxin Tunnel with his infantry units, but he is just out of range and he is able to destroy this tunnel. Very nice to see this action there. We still don't see a, a rebel capturing there anything. NCR is now running here to his teammate to save him, to build a tunnel there. His teammate on the other side didn't do this. We see at the top. Rob and Masliman doing the same thing. They are building tunnels in each other space. Uh, 
turn the volume of my mobile phone a little bit down so you don't hear it. Uh, technical now coming in, almost getting picked off there by the tunnel. But he can release three terrorists which are now going to detonate the supply stash. But one is missing there and the supply stash can rebuild with the GLA hole. He needs a few more units to destroy this completely. Otherwise this one will be rebuilt. Okay, now a mass, uh, technical of Muslimen is now coming in here at bottom side. And we see a lot of more, lot more tunnels here going up at the left oils. And NCR has taken those oils also. So the oils are belonging now to the bottom team. They still need to capture it, but it is theirs. Oh, nice demo demo attack there, but not finishing off the, the arm seater completely. This one can rebuild as well as this supply stash, and it is rebuilt. So no lost cash there, but lost income for a few seconds, but should be no problem. God, the oil has been taken here by Spekovic. He gets a money boost there, but losing one oil drag already without trying to defend it. But those are a lot of units, so maybe he thought this is useless to defend this. But now he should pop out some units there. He has the tunnel protection. He should use those tunnels to have an advantage here at defending this position. Instead, he is not popping out anything, and he's losing those two oil drags, and soon the Euderic. This is lost cash there. A lost opportunity to defend this position. Really sad to see this uh, that he's not saving his Euderics. If you have the Euderics, try to save them. Palace now going up there for Spekovic. Spekovic going for the tag. He is the first player doing this. The other players are still sitting on no tag at all, but the Euderics here are finished, so Rob very good here to see that he is finishing off those oil wrecks. Here on the right side we now see a uh, capturing by NCR, but Masliman is taking care of this situation and no oil for NCR. We do see now a technical here, but he's not doing anything there. There's a worker sitting there on his lazy ass, not building up a tunnel again. Now two demo bikes here. Try to detonate this toxin tunnel, but oh no, he's popping out there. But luckily for him, the demo bikes didn't do anything. Oh, if this demo bike would have hit the army there, this would have been a big loss there for Mas Lehman. He has no technical, also dropping a unit there in this building, two units, two RPGs, but the technical driving directly into the scorpions, not doing anything there. Okay, now here Spekovic tunneling his teammate. But we don't see any action at all. There's now a little bit of action there. Marcel even going here for the tunnel kill. And he will be successful. But there's a nicely placed demo trap here of NCR. This is in a very nice position there. Now the oil is going there for NCR. He's now capturing the oil directs. You also see a garrison building here by NCR, so he is going for the map control there. Okay, still don't see any action. Now there's an army stripping in here for Rob. He needs the tunnel here to support his attack uh, more faster. And I think he's going to send down a worker um, very soon. Maslimen on the other hand needs to build a tunnel there with his lazy worker. A demo bike coming in here on the right and we see some units here of Spekovic. Demo bike just sitting there but can't get through. There are too many toxin tunnels. Now he decides to detonate those two RPGs. Uh, don't see if this was any useful at all. Okay, now the oil directs are in danger and let's see what NCR is doing about this and he's popping out a large amount of units. But we need to consider that his al uh, that, his, that his enemy has scorpion tanks with, ro with rockets. Those scorpion rockets do a lot of damage and quad cannons cannot destroy scorpions so fast. We still don't see an attack of Rob. But the tunnel now he's going up here for Rob. Wah! 
running into the demo trap there, losing three or four quad cannons. I think this was his own demo trap there. I think he lost his own units to his own demo trap. This would be... This would be not so good. Okay, the oils are finished. Mars Lehman has taken care of this. And he has a lot of units sitting in front of his enemy. Now there is a battle bus for Spekovich. Dealing now with the tunnel. This tunnel is now finished. Let's see what the tag is. The um, uh, Rob has going for the tag as well. Oh, a lot of units here streaming in on the right side. And we see now go uh, Palace going up there for Maslieben as well. And NCR also has tagged up. Oh, this is a large amount of units. There's also a nicely placed demo trap there. Demo bike not doing any damage at all, but it was very close. The middle does belong to the top team. They have tunneled it very well and they are gathering resources from it. So they must sit on a lot of cash. You can see how many, how much cash they have at the bottom side. I added um, uh, a money counter there on the bottom side, on the bottom, so you can look up uh, how much money all four players have. I don't see it here because I I added it into the video with Adobe, so only you can see it. Okay, now here big attack there with those buses and Spekovic can completely defend this attack so his ally is living on longer. So really nice match so far. But the top team really has the advantage here. They have so much money, they have a lot of income, they have the middle, the complete middle and I don't know how the bottom team is coming back out of this situation. You now see a, a, a second barracks there going up. So Marceline heavily going for the battle buses. And also building a lot of tunnels there now near to his enemy's base. And this is very good. Also his ally Rob has a tunnel there so they can attack this base here very very good and very very fast. Okay, Rob here on the other side, tunneling the right side. And there's the pop out. The units are streaming in now here. Spekovic sees it, sees it and Spekovic placing down a beacon there. But his, uh, his ally is not able to pop out here anything because he has no tunnel there at his ally's base. So no support from NCR. He is now driving with two demo bikes to the left side. But Spekovic is on is on his own and he doesn't get any support by his ally. Only two demo bikes on the way, but they will fail horrible. Not only destroying one scorpion there, the demo trap finished off two units there, and now there is the attack. A lot of scorpion tanks against this palace. There's a battle bus of Spekovic, but not doing so much damage. Both battle buses are being destroyed. The palace is going down, it looks like. And. Yep, there it goes. The pal palace is gone, and this means the tech for Spekovic is gone, and the heavy defense is also gone. There's the battle bus of NCR coming now from the right side. But he has to deal with this battle bus as well. And those Scorpion rockets are very powerful against battle buses. Oh, we now see here Jam Kel in action. Luckily, there was no Jam Kel in this battle bus to kill him, but Toxin did it already. So that Jam Kel is dead because of Toxin shit. This looks very bad for uh, for Spekovic now. Okay, and NCR now going here for the rocket buggies and upgrading the upgrade for the rocket buggies very fast, I think, for the extra extra firepower on those rocket buggies. The map looks very very purple and green I have to admit. So a lot of map awareness and map control for the top team. Two arms here, two barracks for Maslemen and two arms healers, one barracks for Rob. They have a very good army production there. 
Very good unit production. The Battle Bus of NCR is retreating. There are a lot more Scorpion tanks streaming in into Spekovich space. And all the tunnels are going down. Spekovich not popping out anything. The Battle Bus tried to do some damage there, picking off a few Scorpion tanks. Not losing this, the Battle Bus. But now he needs to retreat and the battle bus is very hurting. But the base is now gone. Spekovic has to sell his base. And very soon the base of NCR is going to fall as well if all those units are streaming in on the bottom right side. Oh, we see a Toxin Rebel ambush here. Very, very sneaky. And now he's capturing those buildings. Oh, what a dick move there. Killing all the workers now capturing the buildings. And <laughs> NCR cannot do anything against this. He, he is forced to sell one of the buildings to be able to kill those do dogs and rebels. And he is now selling the... He is selling all of the buildings because he is not fast enough to kill those rebels. Ah, oh, very nice rebel ambush there. The palace is very, very hurt and the battle bus did some damage there. And the base of NCR already looks very, very bad. Oh yeah, oh wire. And now all the units are streaming in. And NC, uh, Spekovic surrendering already. So this was the view of Spekovic, it looks like. And, and NCR, he can surrender as well because this is a lot of units. Those are a lot of units. And he only has four rocket buggies. He can do a little bit of hit and run, but this will not save his ass. Palace is going to fall very fast, very soon. Palace is already very, very hurting. Also, barracks deck goes down. Only one shot left for the palace, and then it's gone. Ah, uh, demo trap there, only destroying one scorpion tank there. There's the scorpion army of Marceline. And Rob here taking care of the north front. Now the palace is gone and NCR is being defeated. Very nice match indeed. Defeated. But the top team had the map control very f uh, fast, very, very early. So they get a lot of money advantage. They had the map awareness. And yeah. Okay, so this was the second match. 2-0 for Rob and Marceline. They only need to get one more win and then they are in round 2. And NCR and Spekovic are being kicked out out of the tournament. So let's go to game 3. Okay, here at game 3 we are looking at the map Dark Mountain. Also not so popular this map. You don't see a lot of matches being played on this map. Let's, took, let's take a look at the armies. We see a uh, USA Vanilla for Spekovic here at the bottom left. And his ally NCR has the tank general. And at the top we have a demolition by Muslimen and air force general by Rob. Let's go with it. Air force. And demolition, very very powerful combination. Tank and USA Vanilla not so powerful as the top team is. So again, I favor the top team because of the army composition. But let's see what the bottom team is going to do about it. The top team only needs one more win and then they are in the quarterfinals and the bottom team will be kicked out. So MCR and Spekovic now really need to do something. They need to get this win. Otherwise they are being kicked out. There's the worker there on the right side but being spotted there by the dozer of MCR. And he's not driving over this worker. He's building a... F what? He's building a war factory in front of this worker saying, Hey man, my, my building is bigger than yours. I have the larger penis than you are. Okay, now he's... What is this? Why is... What? Why Why is he... Why is he not drive? Uh, the, uh, there's a drop there on the bottom left. Those are in danger now being finished. Why is he not finishing this tunnel? Uh, this worker, why is he... Uh, I don't get it. What is wrong with him? 
Uh, but the tunnel is finished anyway. Dragon Tank took care of it, of it. And this drop was successful. The dozer has been taken down. And the Chinox were being stopped from mining. On the top team. Oh shit, I missed this action. I'm very sorry. There was a drop there, there by Spekovic. He dropped the top left base. And he's doing the same shit as his enemy. And harassing the base of his enemy. So very nicely done here. Even if I didn't saw this drop, I'm very, very sorry. But the dozers. Oh! Oh my god! He. Oh my god. That was a nice hit there with Dozer. But nice try there by Spekovic. Okay, uh, the, the supply here somewhere. Somehow were destroyed. I think he detonated it. Now here harassing the main supply of NCR. There's a lot of action here going on. I can catch catch up with everything here. Unbelievable. Ranger here taking care of those two missile defenders which are there from the drop. Still there, I mean. And the top team has a lot of map awareness here again. But there's this one war factory but unprotected and only mines are protecting this war factory. The top team has an easy game with finishing off this war factory if they want to. And I don't think this one missing outpost is do any damage at all. But there is a very hurt an arm stealer, I think, because of the flame tank which got through. There's a listening outpost now from the right side. So NCR going very good here for the damage. But we have a high scrapped up super technical by Mars Lehman. And this one super technical can really do some serious damage. He can finish off the complete base of NCR if he wants to. Scorpion rockets. Uh, the Scorpion tanks have no Scorpion rockets. So they cannot do so much damage to the listening outposts. But there's the Humvee of his team ally. Of his teammate. And the listening outposts now being heavily damaged there, heavily destroyed because of this one Humvee, the super technical dealing some super damage there at NCR space, this one Humvee is not able to do any damage against the technical, now it's gone, few more Humvees streaming in here at Spekovic space, and Spekovic really needs to do something against this. He's laser locking the wrong Humvee. And this one is escaping. So no laser lock for Spekovic. The super technical now being laser locked. He needs to get away. He is being laser locked. And he can get away with a few health points left. But now he's in danger. He needs to retreat. Getting tank coming in. And this technical needs to be very very careful. Now he's hiding behind the supply to recover from the damage. One Humvee there being picked off. And the Humvee uh, danger is gone, so nice, uh, nice defense, de nice defending there by Stakovic. The super technical now here in big, big danger. The Gatlings are coming in, and now the super technical is destroyed. Big loss there for Mars Lehman, but I'm sure he has more units to throw at his enemy. War Factory is gone, was taken down there by the top team. And we saw, you now see three Humvees here taking care of the second supply of Spekovic. As USA player, you really, really need those supply centers for the income. USA has so much costs with their units. If you lose the second supply, this is really a big loss there. Nice laser lock there by Spekovic. But not being able to finish off all of the Humvees. There's enough a technical there of Mars Lehman. Someone in the comments below say something about, I would say, uh, testicle, but I'm actually saying technical. So if you think I'm saying testicle, no, I'm actually meaning a technical. With those four wheels and which can drive around, you not a testicle. Okay, um, Spekovic is being defeated and CR is pretty hurting. He has lost so many stuff. And I really apologize that I didn't catch all of the action here. There was a lot of action going on and I missed a lot of it. I'm very, very sorry. Because there was going on a lot. We can now see here a chopper. But 
I missed the action again. What the chopper were done uh, doing there. Now see a dragon tank. And we see a few more Humvees there at the bottom. NCR, it looks like he's only on one building left. And this is his last building. He can only defend with three Gatlings. And the three Gatlings are gone now. The dragon tank here doing nothing. And this is the last game for the bottom team. Ah, oh, but very nice match here. Seven minutes in and the action was huge. And there he goes. NCR defeated. The top team takes the win. The top you team goes to the quarterfinals. Winning with 3-0. But nice match here, I have to say. Really nicely done there. Nice try to get at least one win against Rob and Masliman, but not being uh, successful with it, losing the first round and being kicked out out of the tournament. Okay, so this was the match of Rob and Masliman against Spekovic and NCR in the first round of the Battle Team Titans event. I thank you for watching and more videos are going to follow. If you know already who is the winner of this tournament, please don't spoiler it because I want to have fun casting this tournament without knowing who is going to win it. And I'm pretty sure all the viewers here want to see who is going to win without getting spoiled. So if you know who is the winner, please don't write it in the comments below. If you want to find out more about this tournament, there is a link in the in the description below you can click on it you will go directly to the tournament there on cyber battle website and again i thank you for watching this is your cnch bye bye